It's Friday, December 13th, and this is the review for the S&P 500. Little bit of an interesting situation here. We rolled over, you can see here from the March contract, into the March contract from December. So always a little bit of an interesting uh, day as we're rolling over. And then at the same time, we had the Chinese holding a press conference about the trade deal. And then we also had the House committee meeting and voting whether or not to impeach the president. So a little bit of an interesting day here. And also we had rallied in the Globex to all time highs. So I'm going to walk you through here what we saw. These are what we have here is we have a prediction point right here at 65.75. We gave some other prices in the live trade signals, and I'll run through those in a minute here. And then we don't have another prediction point until up here at 92 half. This is the all-time high, which on this contract turned out to be 88 quarter. If you watch the review for yesterday, we said 85. 85 was the all-time high. And so that's how that worked out. So 31.85 is the all-time high on the December contract. It's 31.88 quarter on the March contract. It's about a three or four point difference today as the day traded on. So one thing I'll point out is that if we switch here to back to the December contract, you'll notice the low here came within three ticks of this prediction point. But I'm going to show you what we did with it on the March contract anyway. So here's the early morning coming into 5 o'clock. Pacific time, pretty big bounce off of here. So this is 65. I know a number of traders were done trading by the time this happened. They're on the East Coast. It's 8 o'clock. They're done. It moved here. That's a 23, 20 point bounce, something like that. So they were done by that time. And then here we have the open happening right here. We kind of flirted around with this. We had the open. We could not get back above the all-time high over here. This was the press conference from China happened right here. China said we made a deal. We're going to have the trade agreement and the buyers came back in. What drove this thing up yesterday was Trump tweeted that he was close to a deal with China, that they wanted it. It was going to get done. And then China had a press conference and said, yeah, we've agreed to a trade deal. We're lowering tariffs, et cetera. And we we're watching this in real time. Lots of comments going on about it. And as the press conference went on and people started asking questions, it kind of became clear there is no trade deal. And they were just doing this thing to, um, you know, it's the same kind of same thing they've been doing for two years. So no trade deal right now. And um, I mean, they say there's a trade deal, but nothing, no trade deals happened yet. And the market kind of got that sentiment and we sold off a bit. Now, what we said in the live trade signals was that if we, let's see, we said right here at 628, if we got below the CPA, then 3159.50 before the next CPA down there. So 31.59.50. And this low right here is 30. Oh, right there is what we said. And the low is 31.59.75. So really close here on this. We were a tick off on that. And then it did this the rest of the day. Pretty much nothing here under the close. So here's the opportunities here. There's a, a buy opportunity at 65. There was um, also this buy opportunity. We gave 70. This was 69 half. So there was a buy opportunity here on the when the news came out. I know we had some traders who got on this and were done for the day. So I, you know, there was this five minutes, a lot of opportunity there. There was 
was a few opportunities to short it on the way down here. There was this as a buy right here, 65.75, back up to 75. So this is 10 points. So there was always that trade. There was the, um, the opportunity to short. There was this long down here from 59.5. And that ended up coming all the way back up here into the mid 70s. So lots and lots of opportunity today. And uh, after this move from about 10 o'clock on Pacific time, just not much happening. It's about a three or four point range the rest of the day. So by that time, we're done. We shut it off. And that was that. So really um, interesting day. Monday, things will kind of get settled back into most everybody will be trading on the March contract. And that won't be a question. And we will... Obviously, post the pre-market walkthrough for Monday. If you're in the live trade signals, we'll see you there on Monday. And as always, thank you for watching. You can subscribe here on YouTube. We are posting these videos. If you have comments, you have questions, go ahead and put them here in the comments, and we would love to hear from you. And as always, if you don't know about prediction points, go check them out at daytradelikeapro.com, and we will see everybody on Monday.